Hey guys, so have you ever wondered, I wonder what would happen if they took the people who wrote the music for Little Mermaid, Aladdin, Hercules, and Newsies, and they just gave them a dark musical to work with and just let them have at it? Well, you'd be in luck, because it exists, and we're going to be talking about it today. The show was Little Shop of Horrors. This is one of my favorite shows. I did this show back in 8th grade, and I played Motion and Cool, we'll get to later, and my friend who played Seymour and I had such great chemistry on stage, and I just loved every minute of that production, even the problems that we had. But let's dive right into the Wikipedia page, like we start every one of these. Little Shop of Horrors is a horror comedy rock musical by composer Alan Menken and writer Howard Ashman. The musical is based on a low-budget 1960s black comedy film, Little Shop of Horrors, directed by Roger Corman. Fact. Just random fact. That movie from the 1960s took three days to make and had a really low budget. And it's really... I mean, it's... It's interesting to watch. Like, if you can find a copy of it or you can find it online or something, you should watch it. After watching the musical, though. The music is composed by Mankin in the style of early 1960s rock and roll doo-wop or early Motown. It includes several, several well-known tunes including the title song Skid Row, Somewhere That's Green, and Suddenly Seymour. The musical premiered off-off-Broadway in 1982 before moving to the Orpheum Theater off-Broadway, where it had a five-year run. It later received numerous productions in the U.S. and abroad and a subsequent Broadway production. Because of its small cast and relatively simple orchestrations, it has become a popular show among community theaters, schools, and amateur groups. The musical was also made into a 1986 film of the same name, directed by Frank Oz. It was also made into a cartoon. Okay, now we'll get into the plot of what happens in the show. So if you don't want spoiled, you can just skip to the end where I'll give my rating of the show. Alright, let's begin. Little Shop of Horrors is about a boy named Seymour Krellborn. He works in a flower shop on Skid Row, which is a downtown suburb of New York. He works for Mr. Mushnick, who took him in from the Skid Row orphanage and gave him a place to sleep, under the counter. Nice things to eat, like meatloaf and water, floors to sweep, toilets to clean, and every other Sunday off. He works with this beautiful girl named Audrey, who he's very awkward around on account of the fact that he likes her. But Audrey is dating a semi-sadist dentist who, besides being addicted to laughing gas, beats her up all the time. His name is Orrin Scrivello. DDS. Unfortunately, the shop isn't doing well, so Mr. Mushnick decides to shut it down. But Seymour brings out a strange and unusual plant, which he is named, you guessed it, Audrey II. The plant be makes business boom. Knowing this, Mushnick, trying to keep Seymour from going anywhere, adopts him. Only problem is... The plant needs a special kind of plant food. Human blood. So, Seymour feeds it by cutting his fingers for as long as he can, but eventually it gets big and demands more, saying and singing, Feed me. The plant and Seymour decide the perfect victim is Orrin Scrivello, DDS. Seymour goes to kill Orrin with a gun, but Orrin pulls him into a chair and wants to work on his teeth first. But... He's going to need some nitrous oxide for this one. He puts on his special gas mask, and it gets stuck. Seymour doesn't help him, and then Orin dies. Seymour then proceeds to feed him to the plant, and Act 1 concludes. From then on, chaos ensues in Act 2, with the plant growing from being fed. Sorry, Doctor. But then Mushnick gets called to the police station and starts to suspect even framing Seymour for the disappearance of Orin. So, Seymour tells his father that before he takes him to the police, he should go check in the plant for the day's earnings, because the safe was locked, so he just hid it in the plant. Mushnick crawls inside and... Crunch. Mushnick and Son is down to just Son. Seymour, unable to handle the guilt from killing people, tells Audrey that they're going to go far away from Skid Row, with no flowers, none at all. Then Audrey goes home, but she can't sleep, so she takes a Summonex. But then the plant lures her in, and then grabs her and pulls her in and starts biting her. But Seymour pulls her out. 
Now, there is a spoiler coming up. Even if you've seen the movie, this is a huge difference between the 80s movie and the stage show. So, just be prepared if you don't want a spoiler. In the end of the 1980s movie, Seymour and Audrey survive. But, in the stage show, it doesn't all come out roses. Pun intended. Audrey sings Somewhere That's Green Reprise, and if you've never seen the show, the lyrics are kind of funny, but if you know the show Inside Out, like I do, it's a really sad song. But then, the ending happens. After Audrey is done singing, she dies and gets fed to the plant, as it was her dying wish, so then she would always be with Seymour. But then, a company comes in and wants to take samples of Audrey too and sell them all over the world. They're going to be bigger than hula hoops. But that's when Seymour realizes that's what the plant's plan was the whole time. Seymour jumps into the plant and tries to kill the plant from the inside. But... The plant wins. Then the company comes back in, and with Seymour nowhere to be found, takes samples of Audrey too, and grows and sells them across the world. It becomes bigger than hula hoops, leading to Audrey too taking over the world, even eating the audience. Now, that's originally how the movie was going to end too, but it didn't test well with audiences, and it's that whole, in theater there's a curtain call with bows at the end, and you know the actors are fine, but in a movie it's much more permanent. And if you want to watch the original ending, go either watch a production of the musical, which I highly recommend because I love this musical so much, or you can buy the Little Shop of Horrors director's cut of the 1980s movie, which is also really good. Whatever you guys want to do, just go out there, listen to the show, watch it, just do something with it, because oh, this is such a good show. Now let's get to what I rated it. Now this one I have to rate differently than the first episode, because the first episode is, there's one production, and then they never, like, they never release the licensing to it. This has licensing, so each show is going to be different, depending on where you watch it, and who directed it, and what the actors did during it. But overall... The plot, I give it a 9 out of 10. The characters get a 9 out of 10. The songs get an 11 out of 10, because there's literally not one song in this show that I don't like. I literally love everything about this show. But my favorite songs, I guess, are Feed Me, Dentist, and... The one I got to sing in the musical, so it's kind of near and dear to my heart, Mushnik and Son. Hey guys, thanks for watching, and remember, whatever they offer you, don't feed the plants. See you next time, hopefully. So, before I did this, I had to go through and watch all the songs, and listen and listen, listen to them. But this happened because I left my camera on. Please don't judge me based on this because it's like 12.35. Here you go. Suddenly Seymour is standing beside me. He don't give me orders. He don't come
Feed me. Feed me. Feed me. The snake and sun. Sounds great. Three words with a ring of fate. So sail incorporate with me. A florist dream come true. Mushnick and his boy chick you. When I was younger, just a bad little kid. My mama noticed funny things that I did. Like shoot puppies with a BB gun. I poisoned guppies, and when I was done, I found a pussy cat bashing its head. That's when my mama said, What did she say? She said, my boy, I think someday you'll find a way to make your natural tendencies pay. He'll be a dentist. Please, whatever they offer you, don't feed the plants. Da -da -dun. Dun -da 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 -dun. I've tried you at levels of moisture from desert to mud. I've given you grow lights and mineral supplements. What do you want from me? Blood out! Damn roses.